Ctrip is inviting brave funds to buy out China's travel dip. China's biggest online travel company has approached private equity funds and strategic investors about financing its delisting from the Nasdaq Stock Exchange. It's a tempting target as domestic travel revives in China, but financing any deal will be a challenge. US-China relations and COVID-19 have conspired against Ctrip, forcing it to consider ending a 17-year run as a US-listed company. Ctrip is expected to swing to a loss this year and its shares have fallen 17% since January. But Ctrip is an attractive target for a private equity buyer. It has no controlling shareholder and a clean balance sheet, which would enable any buyer to add leverage in order to boost their returns. Domestic travel is also recovering thanks to Beijing's largely successful efforts to contain the coronavirus. But financing could be difficult. Ctrip is a $16 billion company, meaning once a premium is added, any buyer may have to pay roughly $20 billion in order to fund its delisting. In this environment, even the bravest banks are likely to lend a maximum of just five times EBITDA in order to finance any deal. That means an equity check of roughly $15 billion would still be needed to finance the rest. In a turbulent market, finding that kind of capital won't be easy.